My name is Kent Wegener. I'm the captain of Sheriff's Homicide Bureau. I'm here to provide details and show videos related to the deputy-involved shooting of Dijon Kizzy on August 31st, 2020. Because of this investigation is in its early stages, details may change as more informa information is gathered. On August 31st, 2020, at 3.14 p.m., deputies attempted to detain 29-year-old Dijon Durand Kizzy for a traffic violation as he rode his bike east on 110th Street in South Los Angeles. Kizzy refused to stop, fled on his bike until he fell, abandoned his bicycle, and ran from deputies north on Budlong Avenue. The deputies returned to their radio car and began checking the area for Kizzy. At the time of the encounter, Kizzy was prohibited from owning or possessing any firearm as a condition of a restraining order which was in place and active and because of his criminal record as a convicted felon. However, as Kizzy fled, he was in possession of a loaded 9mm semi-automatic pistol wrapped in a piece of clothing that he carried as he ran. The deputies located Kizzy on 109th place west of Budlong Avenue, still unaware of the fact that he was in possession of a pistol. As they drove adjacent to Kizzy, the passenger deputy exited and attempted to detain him. Kizzy briefly raised his hands with a green towel in one hand and a red and black jacket in the other as he moved away from the deputy. The pistol was concealed. As the deputy closed on Kizzy, he lowered his hands and struggled with the deputy, ultimately throwing punches into the deputy's face. During the struggle, Kizzy's pistol fell to the ground between him and the deputy. At this moment, the deputies saw the gun and drew their pistols as Kizzy stopped, bent over, reached back, and picked up the pistol. Each deputy fired at Kizzy, striking him several times in the torso, causing the gun to again fall to the ground. Kizzy fell to the ground and a combined total of 19 rounds were fired. Additional deputies and LA County Fire Department paramedics responded to the scene and provided emergency medical care for Kizzy. However, he was pronounced dead at the scene. Detectives from Sheriff's Homicide Bureau responded to conduct interviews, follow up, and process the scene. Represented from the Internal Affairs Bureau of the Sheriff's Department, the Office of the Inspector General and the Los Angeles County District Attorney's Office Justice System Integrity Division also responded to view the incident scene. A neighborhood canvas was conducted in order to locate and interview witnesses to the incident. Those interviews were audio recorded and will be included in the completed investigation. Investigators also located several sources of video recordings from both fixed positions and handheld recording devices. Many of these recordings have been published on mainstream and social media platforms. These videos will be processed by experts in order to ob obtain the best quality possible for analysis. The videos will ultimately be included in the completed investigation by Sheriff's Homicide and available for review by the other independent investigative agencies. The Federal Bureau of Investigation is in monitoring this investigation and agents have met with investigators and reviewed the video evidence collected to this point. On Wednesday, September 2nd, 2020, a post-mortem exa examination was performed by the Los Angeles Department of Medical Examiner Coroner. The autopsy report has not yet been completed or published. Dijon Kizzy died as a result of multiple gunshot wounds. He sustained several wounds to the chest, both arms, and one wound to the back, as well as a grazing wound to his head. The details of the trauma and toxicology reports will be contained in the completed coroner's report. The Ruger 9mm semi-automatic pistol recovered at the scene was loaded with 15 live rounds and is at the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department Crime Lab for forensic testing. These tests will include visual inspection, functionality, serology, and fingerprints. We know that the pistol is a stolen gun from Las Vegas, Nevada. It was reported stolen during a residential burglary in February of 2017. 
As part of the investigation, the cellular telephone of Dijon Kizzy was forensically reviewed. Videos were discovered which show Kizzy in possession of that same pistol days before this shooting. We know that it's the same pistol because the video actually reveals the serial number on the firearm in Kizzy's pocket. Today, we will be showing some of the evidentiary videos and photos in order to provide some insight into the sequence of events as we currently know them. Keep in mind, as additional evidence is, is discovered, laboratory res results are made available and additional witnesses are interviewed, the facts of this change may change. Excuse me, the facts of this case may change. The first video shows Dijon Kizzy riding his bicycle on the wrong side of the street and the involved deputies attempting to stop him. He then makes a U-turn in front of the deputies, drops his bike to the sidewalk, abandons it, and flees on foot. Notice that he has clothing in his hands as he flees. The second video shows Kizzy running north on Budlong Avenue from the deputies, still holding the clothing. The deputies do not chase him, but return to their patrol car. The next video shows the shooting itself. It is graphic in nature and may be difficult to watch. Although it happens quickly, you will see one deputy approach Kizzy on the sidewalk as he attempts to distance himself. Kizzy's arms are in the air briefly, still holding clothing in each of his hands. He struggles and ultimately hits the deputy in the face. At one point, Kizzy's pistol drops to the ground. He bends over, reaches, picks up the gun, and is shot as he stands with the gun in hand. You will see that the deputy struggling with Kizzy does not arm himself until Kizzy bends down to pick up the gun he dropped. The second deputy joins the first and the deputy involved shooting occurs. Kizzy is down approaching the sidewalk. The deputies are driving adjacent to him. As the deputy gets out, he takes off. He hits the sidewalk and comes towards us as we view it. The deputy parallels and then approaches him on the sidewalk. And this is when the struggle ensues. He bends over and he is shot and down he goes. The next video shows the end of this incident in slower motion. Because it's an enlarged view, the quality is not optimal. It shows Kizzy bending and reaching to pick up the pistol and the resulting deputy involved shooting. It'll take place in front of that truck. He stops, reaches back. We've frozen it there as he begins to bend over. He bends over, picks it up, and that's when the shooting occurs. This photo shows the pistol recovered at the scene. It was a Ruger 9mm semi-automatic pistol loaded with 15 live rounds. The final two videos were discovered on Kizzy's cell, cell phone and shows Dijon Kizzy armed with that same pistol a few days prior to the incident. we are able to read that serial number. The Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department has begun a thorough and in-depth investigation. Homicide investigators will continue to investigate this incident by completing additional interviews, examining additional evidence and toxicology results, and completing forensic reviews of the involved evidence. 
When completed, the facts of the investigation will be presented to the Los Angeles County District Attorney's Office Justice System Integrity Division for review and a determination whether the force used was within the law. Following the District Attorney's review, the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department Internal Affairs Bureau will complete an administrative investigation of the incident. The Internal Affairs Bureau will present the case to the Executive Force Review Committee, which will evaluate the performance of the deputies and determine if their tactics and use of deadly force were within policy and met the high standards of the Sheriff's Department. On behalf of Sheriff Alex Villanueva, the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department is appreciative of your interest and understanding in this incident.